you who have, in your mercy and grace, called me to belong to you and to serve you and to serve your people with your word. Grant me grace, O oh God, so that as I've been telling you and we've been praying, this is the hour. Give me grace to serve your people so that they will be blessed, they will be strengthened, they will be edified. That the desire, the goal of this meet, uh, this series of meetings will come true. That we see a stirring up, a revival in our individual lives so that other people around us and eventually this city will also see some renewal in our commitment to you in proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ the way we should. Radi Mr. Kameho said the master of Webi Sawo. Radi Menemi Yira Bompaye and Fidia Bompaye Asro Mobro Hununo. A brand new we are not for fun. And Bwami, and I mean for us a man crop for said the baby boy. And I'm a swam in Kenya, but you cray muninichi. Yes, you didn't money abom pie. Amen. Hallelujah. Ancient words ever true, changing me and is changing you. We have come. With open heart, oh, let the ancient words be. Hallelujah, ancient words, oh, ever true, changing me and is changing you. We have come. With open heart, oh, let the ancient words be. Let the old Nazi go, let the old Nazi go, be ready, let the old Nazi go, yeah, let the old Nazi go, my Quan <laughs> So we will be mobile. What do me? What frame me? Some me me some mo. Na me fa wasem. En some mo krofo. O Jesus name. Amen. My sermon this for the first in the series of talks is the Christian leader and the core values of the church. So you di kam for ne asafono aditi true ya. No me who ya, ye nyan kopo a friend, see me di hujuma. And uh, we're going to look at two key texts in the scriptures. We'll look at 1 Peter 2 9 to 10 and Ephesians 4 11 through 16. Now, when we get there, I will invite you to turn with me to these passages. But as a way of introduction, I want to say that every institution on earth has its core values. A cool biare 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 wo we are saying. Nijuma de nyina no twafa no amati tru bi ehuhia ye nto se ku obi wo hona se oni aditi tru bi enti wo ho ha e ku onu nim ni awoyo that's very important even your own personal life se no ma bi ehuhia pa no wan fa nka wa bra bo ho a abra bo no ni direction so every institution on earth has its core values. By core values, we mean the essential qualities for which the institution exists. When you hear factories, business, 
Obia wo botai at the two be a warrior. No ma bi odi ho djuma. Because o we dey mi ni ho djuma. Madam fo we ne di ho djuma. We dey mi ton bi. Madam fo we ne ton bi. Every institution, every businessman, every individual must have core values in their lives. And that is what we are talking about. But then the fight, the whole thing is that it is in relationship to your calling as a leader. I always tell the Lord that in time I, I meet somebody and he tells me that, oh, I was at Cape Coast University and during the university mission in the early 90s, I gave my life to Christ. And I, then I will look at them and I said, I remember proclaiming Christ and him crucified. The Lord who gives life to the lost. The question then is, what are the core values of the church? And how do they relate to the calling of the Christian leader? deacon, so your elder, so your evangelist, so your apostle, whatever uh, place God has, position God has placed you. How does the core values of the church relate to you? It is not too difficult for us to identify the core values of the church and the role of the Christian leader in making them feature in the church's life. And yet, the MP is as a child, and Now, to begin with, let me say this. We all operate from our true identity. And so we all operate from our true identity. First, I said this topic. It is very important to keep reminding us. ourselves of who we truly are. And for that, uh, because of that, shall we go to our first Peter and chapter number two in the environment of nine to ten. Peter Ngume di Kaino. Peter Ngume di Kaino. And brethren, this is very important because I always and you always operate from your true identity. Senia o tieno. Senia obeya wa di afan. Ose dia pa eson aba pa. Amen? So you see, the identity is there. A good tree bears good fruit. Identity will produce results. Your true identity will produce its results in your life, in your relationship. And so, shall we look at First Peter and chapter number two in the environment of nine and ten? Peter ngume di kaino etrimi eni tiche mungkono eni duno. One of my, these are some of my favorite verses. In fact, in the in the New Life for All, the Ghana Evangelism Committee, all those who participated in our programs at a point in time memorized these uh, the, these two verses. Chin was. Ahine asofukuo, or my crown crown, or my awa famo ayane dia. Samon kandi ofre mu fri sumu, ba ane haya eng omwe muno menimi yo enchre. Mo akane na muni mo bro, kuna se se di mo nyamu bro. 
and it goes like this. But you are a generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God. Hallelujah. Who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. I've already told you that we all operate from our identity. So you see, your identity will produce your kind of values. No man, and we are in the pair of and we are in the pair of women, and we are and I be free with Mama. Peter, the apostle, teaches us of this truth. In our first text, he says, We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people. And one translation says, A people for his own possession. Now, do you see who we are in Christ in these verses? If I see who the Pacuan is, yeah, yeah. and Sani Yahu, you bet me, are you? Amen. Netie. For say, Yeni, I yet hear ya, ya, ye, sweet ye, ye, no. We are part of a chosen generation. Ye, ye, a busia, wa pow ye, we ye, ye. I remember 51 years ago when. It was a Friday evening when somebody invited me to an SU meeting. I, I didn't understand much. A very hardcore Roman Catholic with my St. Anthony's treasury and my rosary. And my father was the president of the Catholic Church in my hometown. And uh, every evening, uh, every, uh, uh, most evenings or so, we'll go to church. I remember one evening we went to church. My father went on his knees to do the sign of the cross and he fell over. He was drunk. Then you may be a quiet sorry, me papa called and go to join where you be a movie ascent and a firm team. Wabo the whole petri petri was out there, yeah, mre. And anytime I think of that scene, I thank God that nine years after, after Christ saved my life, my father also came through. <laughs> and uh, four years after he passed on, him at the Tetchman Holy Family Hospital, it lay my father. I saw about four times when she won, and his face was full of joy and 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 sons and. That is one day his papa dead. This man, we preaching at my father's funeral, and uh, he himself gave himself to Christ. Several of his siblings also came through. They give themselves to Christ. Brethren, we have a great testimony. Now, I'm, I'm not surprised because when after my conversing, my father, as he observed my life, could kill the deposit and therefore because he saw Christ in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise his name. Bless him. 
Hallelujah. This identity, a chosen generation, and that should fill your, your heart with joy and gladness. But remember the choice of where the Holy Spirit in this country. Yeah. And somewhere home people. Look, look at the picture, the, the portrait of who we are. A chosen, a royal priesthood. If you understand, if you understand the picture of a priest in the Old Testament, the priest had his face, his, his back towards the people and his face towards the 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 the, the uh, um, the, the, what do you call it? The, um, the sanctuary. The, the holy of holies. And he carried the sins of the people to God. I remember when Christ died, the veil was split from top to bottom. Giving you free access as Hebrews 10, 19 said. Now he, but through his flesh, he has given us access into boldly into the presence of God. Hallelujah. And, and so, I have been given access into God's heart. Well, listen, you, you must be God as part of the holy priesthood. Become like You are directing them if you want to eat, what to wear, uh, God, what to wear me, I will talk about that. What to wear, I will talk about that. Any, anything that, that he died recently, and people were praising him, uh, praising her. What do you mean by that? You don't know who is converted. You can't be converted and, 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 and wait until some days later, then you change what you are wearing. If you are converted, that very day, you begin to change what you are wearing. Let me, I, I don't, the kingdom of God is not a joke. It's not meat and righteousness. Thusness. It is righteousness. We give them the passage into don't. Hello, we don't. Are given that right when they come to Christ. Oh, I didn't hear a good amen. Ours is to guide them to allow him in the right with the right heart, the right at the ask. Amen. Let me tell you, the access has been given to them. Don't block them. Come on, don't block them. Don't stand before the, between them and God. As I say, I may have been suffer no crane on it in the crane of church. Now, many people who no crane or channel criminal, no no crane of Bobra, no no crane some of Frocami. It's so important for us to know that and to teach that. There are too many intermediaries between God and man. But there's only one mediator, Jesus Christ. And we all have access to God through him. Will you say amen? amen. And so, royal priesthood, they all, not just priesthood, but royal. It's called, there's, there's a, we, are, we are so unique because we are related to God. Now, Kaihun said, a chosen generation, a group, a community. Now, I tell you that in our identity, in his various contours and expressions, we are a community of believers. One of the things which describe who we are is that we are a community of believers who belong to God. So, who is Christ? 
So you Anglican, so you Methodist, no, you Pentecost, no, Assemblies of God, ni House of Faith, whatever, you know, Baptist. So there's a connection. A very key thing we must not forget about. Now, if you are going to see revival, we must have that attitude of community. That we are the people of God. A royal prison, a holy nation, God's own people. Nyamin Crawford, a dear mean penny will be our Bessia, no Namidia Masori, Namidia Masori. Please give me a break because Jesus died for me. Come on, Jesus died for me. I am a child of God, I belong to a community of believers. Aya Hokatama, I belong to a community of believers. Me and Yamin Crawford will be a shark candidate. Criticism, you no me who you Hallelujah. And so you see, we all operate from our true identity. And this identity is beautifully expressed by the great apostle Peter in this person. A chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. God's own people. Hallelujah. So do you see who you are in Christ? We are a family, a community of the redeemed. Hallelujah. But then, it's interesting that as we look at the core values, now remember I've said that but then he goes on to talk about the purpose of our being. Or say that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called his marvelous life. Will you say amen? So he identifies who you are, and then he tells you the reason that the reason why you are alive. Amen. Or can we move with the park one? No, I chose it. Oh, said the old Tiani. Now we to say I have way ahead. Who who made the call for? Mommy, I'm going to When we gather, we are a community of believers. And when we gather, God has reasons why we gather. Hallelujah. And so. When we gather, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Oh, I said hallelujah. Now, this takes me to the second passage. Ephesians chapter number four. Ephesians four. What is popularly known as the fivefold ministry. Ephesians 4. In the Ephesians, from verse number, episode 4, the tree 90, Mudubam. And he himself gives some to be apostles. Now he's talking about as leaders. And he himself gives some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Now listen to why you have been given. For the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. I didn't hear you, I didn't know I was in home. What's all you can wait? For the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry. So awesome. 
wodi ama safono wodi endi asafono enim se yen tete ahotefo no emma wonye nyame som nyuma som nyuma no e di dimu di dimu di dimu ta na be ka chire obi o se o na wakosi ade wa bochira ba na ye ye missions conference we legon na group wa me bi enim na bo fresh me tete no kakra Oh, can say, oh, when you talk about missions, we should not forget, the, we should not talk about just preaching, preaching, preaching. Uh, it's about bringing health facility to the people. Now I'm saying, madam, for. May a country will say, what? Yeah, kono, ye koka sempa. Na ye kono, ye wunu bebi, ye hinyad ye wa ye beboa. But the entire year, Connie said, You can't Oh, can't okay, me, my mint here. Brethren, mission is about one thing that God in Christ wants to draw mankind back to Himself. Jesus died and was raised from the dead, and the gospel must be proclaimed as we go, we do good. But let me tell you, the mission of the church is to proclaim Christ and Him crucified and resurrected. Man, they can't send Simbia and Chem. Dorcas, Acts chapter 9. Hey, you don't was it first? Was it she was a disciple? <laughs> we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. But listen, the whole contest is about drawing people to Christ, and as we do that, we do good. Of course, the best good is to lead people to Christ. They say, Papa, you do have it, my amu, we are say, Ah, and yet, we are not tardy. And you see, and then you be Biara. Papa, you do have it, my amu, we are. My own, yes, Christo. Ah, my own, yes, Christo. Mommy and church, as a woman, you say, Papa, you do have our own, but my yard, ya bois. One woman, Nipano, who Jesus Christ. Mante, I mean, ye. That is our core business. John Wesley said that you have no business but to save souls. Hallelujah. When you may be a yes, I watch you a cram every day. Well, you might not know who is a cool cram. I know about tire. Who too sure. And yes, Nippon Numun soon will walk over and send you my dear and a while. See, my Nippon who say yes to Christian Tini are your way. No more but time here at the other hand, some of you And easily be misled by all the noise in the world and all the controls Satan has presented to us. We must be focused. Our core business is to proclaim Him crucified. Sir, Masa fumbani who say, Ya who say, Ya ya ambassadors for Christ. We are Christ ambassadors. God seeking to reconcile the world to Himself through us. He, he's making His appeal through us. Hallelujah. Now, when I ask you to turn to Ephesians chapter 4, listen. All gifted leaders have at least three fold purposes as presented to us in this passage. So here you can for you know at least in one mommy and son and then you have come as you say we lead day then you have come as you know we'll be the human first there is the immediate purpose of equipping believers to do the work of the ministry. You have to say we are the can for you 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 we are Yes, you say you need to pay for money. Yes, you say you need to na ni pa fa won so. E be e e e e ne chidi fo. It's interesting that the few times when people were healed or delivered and they volunteered to follow Jesus and he reluctantly said, "No, go to your people and tell them what the Lord has done for you." Ko ko ka ko ka che on crofo ni ruade ai dey. Ayama now, so there's the immediate purpose of equipping believers to do the work of the ministry. The word prepare, katatizo, forgive me for doing that. Sometimes it's necessary. Because I'm going to share a few things about that verb, prepare. The people for the word, equip, prepare. 
equip, prepare, equip. It means to equip for service and ministry. So we say nipan, we say say nipan The Greek verb has the idea of mending of torn nets for fishing or the setting of a broken bone for proper healing. Muntie nsemi enu ga ko kasa mo ka katatizo. Che say don pa emu abu. Na obe ai medical doctor. Those days they were medical. Luke was a medical doctor. Na don don pe mu bua. Adie hu hia pa ni se. Yes, I'll be paper. No, mum, sir, Uber to Wasia, Ama Dumpeno, the Ebuyene S. Any mupe pepe. Say, see any mupe pepe now, did we acra to Honchichra? One one besan hoyadia. And that is the Greek word katatizo, the verb katatizo here. And now, sir, another image. Obio oye a okopo, and now we inam ewotadim. Nan in net in at it. Now the attitude, oh, oh, I said, oh, oh, titim, mending the nets. That is another import of the verb katatizo. Mending the nets so that it becomes very useful for fishing. Saham for ni mi enu no eni ejuma odi ejai. Setting the broken bone, set so that there will be healing. Until you me no ye we ejuma don't pay more bone. And see a two year boy say I need this year ni na ma ayare saba at na no mu atete no as I say a titem na ma ye de ko e ko yi na mo a e mo anu bi e nyane na ye tumi nya e bu ma ye achi won nyina e ro ade man sa adon de and you do this effectively first and foremost when you yourself you set yourself apart Oh, I love the high priestly prayer of our Lord in uh, John 17. I sanctify myself so that they also may be sanctified. May me who see her. So that they are one name and she do for us. May you on who see her. Other four said, Nipano beti on one. Now what you want? I mean, I mean, I as a full man of a vampire, now vampire. Sasa for man be be ye papa na we ye papa. Sasa for mano be be mo ni abri e wa sempatre huwa. No ni musa abri biara pastor, abri biara evangelist, abri biara deacon, abri biara prophet, abri biara leader. Akran kwaji, akran kwaji, akran kwaji. You see him practicing it. You see him doing it. You see him talking about it. And when you do it, they will catch it. Hallelujah. It should begin from you. See Jesus, I did such a map in John chapter four by Jacob's well. So I'm full of free chrome by na odia dance. Personal evangelism of Jesus is <laughs> look at only Nicodemus, here yeah, only Zacchaeus. Obey ya on coaching when we see na boho. May be an opportunity to be obeying a biara. No, would you dance? Sure. Me buy assemblies of God so be. I mentor a lot of people, one of them. And we were best around and catch it and say, Patrick, Adia, a name of me, and say, it's no, no longer no Bible, no breakfast. I'll talk about these books later on. I don't write by heart. I write when I feel burdened. Like Reverend Alfred's book. Yesterday I was looking at, you know, Things, uh, passages in it. Sure. Me catch them in the same way. So you see, me no crap. No soul, no sleep. You come off with no Bible, no breakfast. No soul, no sleep. To the bearer and you mre. The moon in our opportunity, we now did your dance here. When I mean share, now I'm so many on share media. It is me name drop a cop. Need you not need a top of two. Around now, what kind of Bible? But I told you, and now what kind? But I told you, and now what kind? Now, no kind. Let me miss out. Ochem can I? Say, I okay. Sorry, don't be surprised. Oh, man, oh, boy, and sorry, you know, so give me a break. It's my way, you know. And I'm saying, when you mean to your mind? 
say, Daddy. I say, Oh, Jai, but you know, the yes, what you are. No, Mammy, wow. And within a few minutes, she prays to receive Christ. I have testimonies about attendance in restaurants in East Legon where I stay when I'm in Accra. Some of the restaurants where we, we eat, or from where we eat. And there was this young lady. But sometimes there were women and old Janet. Now, one time we got there with Jim because daddy, she said, dear Masachra. Hallelujah. Although, when we share these things and they, and sometimes they see us doing it, that they, they know that this, this is a true core value of my pastor. Will you say amen? A yadia win yam is software. So, now I'm going to Patrick Gossi. Papa, I didn't hear you. No, what do you hear? I was yes, I cried. I cried. ready. I tried. I wish I had a degree. I was since then the beer. I mean, you become yes, you must have. And I'm saying they are everywhere. They are ready. They are ready. Build a good rapport. Build a good conversation with them. Now, when I finish, I let me. Let me tell you about this book, Equip to Evangelize. When I finish, get a copy. It will teach you all the various ways I can answer. Building a good rapport, helping them to know that possible, and as you talk with them like Jesus, Jesus Christ, he knew how to build a good rapport with people. Oh, may the Lord give her that passion. May that passion be ours in the name of Jesus. That every day, every hour, our prayer will be about so. Let me tell you, let me tell you this. Every day I pray around uh, average of about three hours. My last prayer hour is between eight and nine o'clock. And what I do is I look around me so the demon na be 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 around me can't hear me. Junior me a man me fetch him. Then I come to talk to the Lord about souls, about mission fields. And then by any people, me so we lead our team. Mumai empire ends focus on Sasa. I said, I'm here, revival, grace, assemblies of God. Now, Muntiem ye. And some of us are not prayer meeting, the only prayer meeting. Muntiem ye, pa. Muntiem ye. The car tongues no baby requirements are try. But now, they are teaching. I want to be my topics and say, I'm a homepire. No, 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 cut up a microphone. One, no, one, 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 Ubobi. Now I pray in tongues, I pray with understanding. But there's a time for everything. Who am I in topics? What is the proof? Look, please. Please, for God's sake, let the Bible guide us. May Sremu Yesu Christo Nemo. Bibia wan ebre. To bi abon pa ba wese wa on konko no kwa ba bi odun ni nam no kwa no. Na ye de wo na wudi anim ni e bon pa ye wo wi ya na wo ka baba aden. Ye de be de bi ye hu sister pa ye kwa no yabo. If we are going to lead God's people, we must lead them not the way people think we should lead them, but by the way the Bible leads us. Will you say amen? amen. Oh, me cancer, I'm you. It is said, and I mean from Kumachi. 
There is the immediate purpose of equipping believers, mending the net, setting the broken boat, so that the people will be effective in doing the work. In fact, the spiritual leader's primary task is to be an equipper, a person who makes disciples and prepares others to serve Christ. Note another crucial point. The very purpose of equipping layman, the layman is so that the body of Christ, the church, may be built up. Amen. Last Sunday, I think there were about five or six people. So we say, we, we, we in a cassette, we, we in a TV, and I mean, we in a year, Juma. Now, we are my master. No, dear, dance here, Chen. What a great job. And when you see people doing that, then you, you know that something is happening. Of course, the, there, is, there is what we call corporate discipleship and personal discipleship. Now, normally, most of us are used to corporate discipleship. But I would say, amen, if you, all you know is to corporate discipleship. Because it works. But it's not as effective as personal discipleship. Personal discipleship, the one, and if I be a new Christian, song or train, yes, Christopher, do me a new pet. Do me a new pet. What's what you are saying now for do me a new pet? And yet, look at what has happened to the world. Personal discipleship. So not, 12, they say, see a corporate. No, 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 it's not. Corporate discipleship is when I'm always ministering to all of you and um, expect that all of you will respond. It, it doesn't happen like that. But when they are in a small group, and we can do it, and that's the best methodology. Now, if you don't know anything, I have this small book. Now, I want to say that uh, Reverend Alfred was the first to really make this book effective. I remember many years ago when it was in that early form and your people were using it. In a class, some Methodist churches are using it, but they bought all. I don't think now even I have copies. 12 lessons for effective follower. At least within the first few months, you know, there no one shame when you say, I'm back. Or Jesus Christ Christo move. Because I don't know this. Because my, my, my aim is that the, the church will have something. Now you are free to buy a co-op as of way. Churches were buying them in hundreds. And I was so happy. So said, look, you want to do something. Go and do it. Yeah, be my ready. Titi asafo manu. Na won chia kra me ready. And unti na asafo no ho. And unti na uli da wo ho. Ka amen. Now, if the work of the ministry was left up to professional ministers, the task would never get done. For there are too few official ministers. Lay persons must be equipped. And if you, those of us who are here, and you're bad, because you are talking about leaders. It's not just some, you know, meeting, but leaders. Never get done, for there are too few official ministers. Lay persons must be equipped to reach the lost and to minister to the needs of the world, reeling under the weight of evil and suffering and death. So as I say, yes, this is for man. Now what to me, baby on them, yeah, no. I often say, no, Job test to shame. Tell me I'm lying. Look at the zeal with which they go out. We have better mercy, but we have the mercy. Oh, uh, we must one person won't come out. And I said last year, the more quiet. Maybe we could not say, ah, we could be, ah, we could be two, three days. Now, I'm out. 
I was so happy. Sometimes it's very easy for you to go to somewhere and just because we are in a group, talking always, we do go out and Hallelujah. Now, as they come on holidays, organize the students in your church. Give them training and release them to go out. Will you say amen? amen. Will, you, will you do that? Mami, she sa obeya ama on saso. Na kase erade meye. Erade buami. Mami nye. You see, these students, if you don't do that, then they just go about wandering around and the turmoil thing begins to even influence their lives. Do you know that sometimes when you look at the pictures of these people on drugs, and I say, Lord, where did we fail? Where did we fail? Oh, the second thing is that there's the eternal purpose for the Christian leader. It can be stated no clearer than what the verse itself says. And it says three things. Now, under the second then the verse, the verse says three things. The minister of God works to bring about a perfect unity among God's people. Amen. To bring peace and reconciliation to the church, to lead people into perfect harmony and oneness of spirit, to shepherd people out of divisiveness, murmuring, grumbling, grumbling, uh, um, and all other sins that militated against a perfect unity. So, there is the eternal purpose for the Christian life. And it can be stated no clearer than what the verse says. Three things. Working toward a love in the Greek proston symphoron. Towards harmony. Symphony. Harmony. Hallelujah. Harmony. Now, the the, next, the minister of God works to bring about the knowledge of the son. Hey, when you talk about missions, it's not about it's not about and to me, come. United Nations to me too well. UNICEF to me too well. OBR to me too well. But of course, a bass and pass off no quantity to me. Into now, we're Juma, me, we're Juma. Ah, may God burden you with this one thing that people will be equipped to share Christ. As a way of life. Hallelujah. If this becomes the heart of your puppet ministry, it will affect them. Amen. The minister of God works to bring about a mature person, a person who attains to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Of course, as you do that, you are also growing. So are, together you are growing. Like Reverend Usa Chan said, we all are learning. When I was preparing, I was learning. As I'm delivering, I'm learning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The third truth is that there's the personal purpose for the Christian leader. This purpose also involves three parts. Hey, that we no longer be children. Say yes, it's us are for manual. Where Juma Pa and he said, Where Juma Pa so they can for and he said, Oh, they are all to teen a man crop for a more summon you. Amen. That is your core business. And as you do that, you are emphasizing the core values of the church. The primary value is proclamation. Proclamation. Of course, there are other values 
I will finish by mentioning them. But let me tell you that for me, I will again and again say the is proclaimed. Leading to discipleship. Will you say amen? Your human or no, your friend or no. For 51 years I've been mad. People who Jesus Christ. The people who love Jesus Christ. The beyond me, you know, who said me, Papa, and I'm as a pie, a kaya, so be who Jesus Christ. Yeah, let me win the Aminka. I remember those days, yeah. <laughs> we went to my hometown. Yeah, you know, Hallelujah. Give this man a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because you here, you are a child. Can come. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey. So there's the personal purpose for the Christian leader. This purpose also involves three parts. Hey, that we no longer be children, infants. An image, an actual being. Three on this soul. Jesus are given to us to keep us from being children, tossed back and forth, blown here and there by every wind of false teaching. Ah, to bow our heads in shame. How many of our church members are not roaming around looking for a country? I tell you, if they are mature, they will go nowhere. Oh, God. So, I'm going to go to the church. I'm Continuum <laughs> in China, not Hallelujah. That we may grow up in all things. Now all things mean all things. Grow up in your knowledge about the Holy Spirit. Grow up in your knowledge about the church and its function. Grow up in your knowledge about how to relate to other believers. Grow up in your knowledge about how to relate to your wife, your husband. In your knowledge how to relate to your children. Be a good relative. Then relatives in Come on, give me a break. He who dwells within me is greater than he that is in the world. Who is that devil to intimidate me? They must really put their tails between their legs because I am present. Chia! May yes, you give me presence. As I will go. If in the crowd before, I will go. 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 As if they owe the world. They don't own the world. What kind of Christianity is that? Let's pray about souls who are lost and about missions and stop praying about that. Who are they? Ah! Who are they? Pray about souls. Pray about Mali. Pray about the Islamic agenda. Pray about the Middle Eastern world. Pray in, for India where they are killing the, the Hindus and the, and, the, and the Muslims are killing. Pray about these things. God's gracious intervention. Pray for your city. Idolatry. Who such a powerful sway through Nkunya. Break the power of Nkunya. And let people cheat Britain to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Because as long as they follow these beggarly things, perish. Nobody should play any the values of so clearly stated. If you know you have turned away from idolatry, period. Grow up in all things. Also, for what you want to know, as a family, you know, baby, I ain't you want to chill, chill, you know. 
Ucha, na ucha. We are a pulpit planner. And say to me, cover Miami Ahudo Bebre within some five years. No, no I cover another three years. Like, you know, the scripture, you know, organize the daily guard and daily power. Every three years, one would have gone through reading the whole Bible. <laughs> I've been using this for 51 years. And I know it's true. Hallelujah. That we do our part in building up the church. Know that every ligament. Or, or, or every believer supplies something to the body of Christ. And what every ligament or believer supplies is very significant. Note how significant it, 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 significance is stressed. Christ takes every ligament or believer, and the believer is joined and held together with all other believers. know. <laughs> Now, when you know, I'm going to go to the house. 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 This year. Having said this, let me go back as I wind up. The, we have emphasized a key core value of the church. But there are other values we cannot close over. What are the other values I'm talking about? Now listen. If you go to Ephesians 2.10, Paul is so clear about this. We are his workmanship created for good works. We are God's handiwork. Poem, poem, handiwork. Ephesians 2.10. We are God's handiwork created for good work. This is a key value in our kingdom life. Now, let me tell you, the last Sunday I preached on this topic. <laughs> Witnessing through good works. The testimony of Dorcas in Acts chapter 9. Now here is a woman who about Dorcas here in the enemy dance. Was oh by no your sin. Now bro we have been brother. Now was my son coffee Peter. Peter by just a may ye the one tad ye or the four mumma yen chance for man said one ye papa. Because listen, say, we are God's workmanship created in Christ to good. Doing good is a core value of kingdom life. Will you say amen? Mr. Say, as a let them do good. A B and to make good what drop mu or to me to a man. And to make good, a word open, a do baby, I just didn't see the pim, a you know, a job a tomb. One require to be automatic of Muda. No one who said, What one would the year then? Now let's get serious about these things. Let us do good. I am part of the, the Luzan Global I mean, for Generosity. But the last meeting was held in Bangalore, and uh, the, the, I was there. Now, Papa Bia, now me hear my master's program, but the name of Miss Aye, when he's somewhere. Yeah, to take more discussion. Yeah, but yeah, but you know, is that Professor Ben somewhere? So I say yes. Papa in a dance here. Nipah here visiting Professor Mitchins all over the world, Oxford, the hey. India, how could he be here, Papa Etia? You won't believe it. Nipa and Yafum and one in the Kusu one day. No one seen a cacra. Now, apart from it, baths, toilet. Now, one can one could say Nipa and Wabon to now, no one be jarred. No one do a good, no one feed you. 
Now here in the area, they are man. Now I search them. Because in the area, they are not a good one. They are not a good one. They are not a good one. They are not a Some of you who be aware of his, some of his writings. Very gifted musicians. I mean, this year. Move a brave heart. Maybe I could do you. Every Mohan Amiti is almost 6,000. The vampire and the running man is coming. It was a gift. And I'm a friend of mine. Today, so far, Santa Abe, I'm a friend of mine. 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 Now, we are that. You teach them to do Teach them to do good. Hey, who can't you answer? Omunye papa, omunye nyafwa, enun chese wo offering so beti. Wo offering be kosro. Amen. Amen. Wo offering be kosro. It says, it's a kani nyamine deba. Do good. Teach them to do good. Help the poor. Relate well. Busi anibi animen, untu di animes ko. We were created in Christ Jesus to do good. Amen? To do good. God is so clear about this. And if you want to see the core values of the church, the church doing good in the midst of a crooked generation is a key thing. Let it, let it be a testimony that even empowers our witness. Amen. And ya dia a shaya dance ye ma and my dance ye no a tumpong. Hallelujah. Now remember that this is a very important thing to the Lord. Yes, you know I joy. Value when you be a near to everywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty he he cleansed the lepers. When the cripples saw him, they started walking. Everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Equipping involves teaching and training. Teaching and training. Most of us are very good in teaching, but we are very deficient in training. Say bet me and boas are for mano and my own to me. I yen yes, oh yeah. We should do a lot of teaching and training. Teaching and training. Teaching and training. Now, much of what we teach, now what I'm doing is teaching. Much of our puppet ministry, teaching. But training will usually be in seminars. Seminars. Now, a you how to. In training, you see how to. How to. 
in training, we, we, we learn how to. Methodologies. How to. How to. How to witness. How to pray. How to fast. How to have financial management. I'm saying, so for Bob, we can't want to say. Amen. The power. Now, no, you're quick. You're about to have a question. I know. I'm so for you. I'm more than me. I'm more bank and sound on bidding. So for when you for power. I was so blessed. Hey. Yet, me, church, we are. Yeah. Yeah, what? I'm going to say, put your fans in your heart. I want to say, you see, we're not having a new view. Hey, Papa. Now, there was a new view. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, and yes, you see the interview. Or oh, yes, sir, uh, in eight years, ten years, you know. Sika wa bejino. Onwa ni hubejino. Mumma yen fre fre sa afo no me chere chere yei. Na sa afo mba no enya financial uh, freedom. Is that I said, to me bo mpa ye, if I pray for people about finance, I pray not only that, oh, give them breakthrough, amen. I mean, those things are there. But I ask the Lord, give them wisdom to create wealth. Minuti. O ye nyansa, or they be create wealth. Nyansa. O be a wa. Hey. Mr. Boafo, what do you say? Kufi. Ede. Kusi Boafo. O can send me. O so ko sinyan bi sim. E rebi wa wye polytechnic. Yen ane etan do kono do si ho. No, no, o din komo. Now, the end of the school, I saw me be a poly. Now, the end of the year, I apply. You know, I'm so my mom saying, I'm so best at me 400. Was it a way? One another document, who bet me a sum, now be sick. I shouldn't anymore. Then I was what he make around my bread. Gary Kosum. She said, Gary, make us all distribution centers, a cobay at 12. Already, or done a came one. Or the distribute kinky. Or what big crowd points in the crowd will teach you my big crowd no mina. Let's pray that God will give them that creativity. Amen. Creativity. Then yet, you have been more in Yamia, my child, yeah, move to me. I throw books in the other book about dealing with anger and unforgiveness. We see a five cities. A buffo, you had your cousin. Mrs. Jackson, who is up to one thousand five hundred. Was what the quack of Mac, Ninkura, or Children, or the old Green Colleges. Sure. You are soon here. Now, would you dear say, Enkusifiada? Now, the yes, you are hammer. A CC, Amaya, you are my pet. A radin shramo. Now, do to a yes, you name. Amen.